Hello everyone, welcome back. Severt is here, coming back with part 7 of What if Deku was the Ghost Rider? Now, where we last left off, Izuku was with his classmate in the USJ. And he been sent into, you know, the... Well, the... I forgot what's... The earthquake zone alone with without any other people. As he took this chance and transformed into his, you know, for Ghost Rider form as he starts ripping and killing all the villains there. And after that he detransformed making sure that no villain has saw him. And he just got out of there and go to help Aizawa. And he see him being hit by the Nomo as he killed the Nomo and go at Shigaraki. But Shigaraki with the help of Gurigari managed to go away. And after that, Izuku has, you know, go back to his home, but before that he has taken his, you know, his bike and starts riding through the city as he starts smelling something. And after that he see in the middle of the city a guy that called himself Rex Lapis, uh, saying that he will gonna take with what his was from his right and rebuild this world as he wanted, even if this means that he need to make the sky rain with the meteorites and if you want to know what's happened there go watch the last part but we continue after Izuku has come back into his home in the morning Izuku waking up as Inko said oh good morning Izuku as Izuku said good morning mom as he said go to eat his breakfast and after that he Inko said are you gonna go to your school today as Izuku said yeah I think so but before he you know prepare he got a call on his phone as he said it's all might give me a second mom as he said yes all might as all might on the other side said ah young Midoriya I need to tell you something as Izuku said do you want me to come back into your office again as all might said no no not like that I want to tell you just that you got two free weeks of you know preparation for to train in it to, for the sport festival after two weeks as Izuku said uh, the sport festival has almost said yeah I we didn't we weren't able to tell you about that because after you get out of the hospital you just disappeared so I just make sure that you doesn't come into UA today as Izuku said thank you all might and after that Izuku said well looks like I'm not gonna go to UA today as Inko said well are you gonna train out Izuku as Izuku said yeah I think so and after that in the two weeks Izuku just training and you know preparing himself as one of the days in uh, one of the, you know, the end of the first week, he go, you know, was following a villain under what they call it. Uh, wait a second, I forgot what it's called. Uh, the sewers, yes, he was following a villain under a sewers as Izuku in his, you know, ghost rider form. The villain said, please, someone, anyone help me, Him got, he's gonna kill me. As Izuku just uh, walking uh, from behind said, tick tock, tick tock, your time has done. As he throw his, uh, you know, uh, well, chain around the, the guy and wrap it around him. As he engulfed the chain with flames and start burning the guy until he turn into nothing but black dust as Izuku just walking in the sewer said ah it's uh, how much did we kill how how what was this number now how much am I killed today as ghost rider said well kid you have killed like 564 this is 506 and uh, 565 right now you are breaking your record as Izuku said great as he did transform as he said ah, it's really so tiring you know as he just laying on the wall and after he do that the wall behind of him suddenly open up as Izuku fall on his back and said ouch what the as he looking behind he see the wall that he was you know sitting on it disappeared as 
Vengeance said, well, looks like you find a secret place, Izuku. As Izuku said, well, let's see where it is, where this gonna take me, as Izuku got inside. And after a couple of minutes walking, he finally see in front of him a big place with the, a big computer and a lots of weapons and also a fighting, uh, you know, arena. As he said, well, what is this place? As Izuku got into the computer and he start, you know, he's pressing some buttons as the computer said, please put your, put your finger on the, give me your, you know, fingerprints or something like that. As Izuku put his hand on the scanner and after that the computer start to scan it as he said, welcome back, Miss Young, Mr. Midoriya, corrupted. As Izuku said, corrupted? Who's corrupted? As from behind, a robot wearing a black jack, a black suit with a, you know, purple, uh, purple tie. He said, ah, oh, Mr. Corrupted, welcome back. As Izuku looking by and said, Mr. Corrupted, who is corrupted? My name is the Ghost Rider. As the robot said, well then, Mr. Ghost Rider, welcome back to your hideout. How can I serve you? As Izuku said, What is this place and who are you? As the robot said, Hmm, so it's happened again, huh? Well then, looks like you don't remember. But I don't care about that, Mr. Ghost Rider. My name is Alfred and I am the robot that will gonna serve you in your new hideout. As Ghost, you know, Ghost Rider said, Kid, do you know anything about this place? As Izuku said, no, I never got here, but this robot talk like he's know me, know me before. As Ghost Rider said, I don't really understand, but let's get use, get a good use out of this place. As Izuku said, well, can you get me something to drink? As, uh, you know, the Alfred said, right away, Mr. Midoriya. And after that, uh... You know, Alfred come back with a, a pizza and a cola, the favorite of Izuku, and he said, Here are your favorite pizza and your bottle of cola, Mr. Mr. Midoriya, as Izuku said, Thank you, Alfred, as Alfred said, And your mask, as he gave Izuku mask, as he looked at the mask, saying, What the? As the mask looking like... The mask looking like this as Izuku said what is this mask as um, you know Alfred said well it's just a mask that I suggest that you keep it with you as Izuku put his hand on the mask as once he do that the mask didn't change but nothing happened as Izuku said hmm I don't really like wearing a mask you can keep it in a safe place as uh, Alfred said, well then, if that's what you wish, Mr. Midoriya, as he take the mask and put it away. And after that, Izuku just looking at the computer, saying in his head, damn, this computer have a lots of information about villains, and a lots of different things, heroes and things like that, as uh, Vengeance said, well, looks like we had we hit the jackpot, hi Midoriya, as Izuku said, yeah, and this is a very great place to live in, maybe I will gonna use it if all might have ever find out about my secret, well, I should go back to my house because I'm so tired and I need to go back to training, as Ghost, Ghost Rider said, alright Izuku, Let's go back. And after that, Izuku just opened a portal, teleporting in his, into his room. As in the next week, Izuku has meet again with, you know, Kami and have some fun going out, playing some video games and things like that. As he, after that, he told her about the sport festival. As she told him, well, I'm gonna sh shout out for you out there. I, I will gonna, you know... Uh, uh, wish that you were gonna win as Izuku said thank you Shikami and after that Izuku leave back to his house and you know continue being the ghost rider for the next week as the finally 
the sport festival come as everyone in the class preparing to you know go to the sport festival as there is in front of their class a lots of student as Mina said um guys as she looking everyone looking in front of them they see a lot of students of other classes and you know not only one b as a kid with a purple hair come in front of them as he said eh, i want to see izuku midoriya right now as izuku come in front of said yeah i'm here what do you want as he looked dead into the kid eyes as he said well my name is shin my name is shinso and you are Izuku Midori, right? You are the one that have saved Mr. Uh, Eraserhead from the villain attack and defeated all the villains by your own. Is that right? As Izuku said, not exactly, but you can say something like that. As Shinso said, well, I just come here to tell you that you should not think about yourself big and mighty, because not be only because you fight it villains before that mean you are stronger than any of us as izuku said and why do i want need to think like that as shinso said don't lie on me i know that you think that you are stronger than everyone here as izuku said i never think i don't think that i am stronger than any one of you or any one of you a i'm sure that i am stronger than anyone here smiling at shinso as he said well then I will gonna beat you up in the sport festival and defeat you. As Izuku said, <laughs> well, let's see. And after that, everyone got ready. Everyone wearing their, you know, sport festival in, you know, uh, gym uniform. As Midnight said, well, hello everyone into the sport festival. Today we will gonna show you what our student of UA can do. And for, please, for the person that will gonna give uh, you know a speech izuku midoriya come here as izuku start you know walking into the <sighs> what they call it izuku stand on the stage and got hold of the microphone as he said testing testing as can you hear me as he said well welcome everyone into the sport festival i will gonna make this short and easy i will win as he leave the mic and just walk down, everyone starts saying boo and things like that. And some students got angry at Izuku as Baku said, eh, he's acting so different than before. He must think that he will gonna even, ha he must think that he's stronger than me just because he had a quirk. I will gonna show you Deku. And after that, the first as Prince and Mike said, well everyone, we were gonna get cut off into the first part of the, you know, the sport festival, which is will be the obstacle race. The student will need to get uh, above the obstacle that will gonna get into their way and get into, get into the end of the race before the time end and before a lot of people come or something like that as Izuku just said in his mind, this will be easy, as Vengeance said, yeah, but don't use your bike or your portals, because they will gonna know who you are, as Izuku said, of course, of course, I know, and after that, pressing Mike said, three, two, one, go, and after that, everyone, uh, you know, starts running in, Shota, Todoroki using his ice freeze everything, and Everyone tried to get out, but Izuku still in the back as President Mike said, Look at Shoto, Todoroki and Bakugo, they are fighting on the first place! As President Mike looking behind as he said, Um, uh, Aizawa, your student, your student is just standing there. As everyone looking at Izuku saying, What is he doing? Why is he just standing there? As Izuku just, you know, <sighs> preparing himself, cracking his fingers and things like that. And cracking his neck as uh, President Mike said, "Hey, kid, uh, you will gonna lo you will gonna lose if you just stand there." As Izuku smiled and said, <laughs> "We will see." As Izuku got into you know a running stand and then 
his legs start engulfing fire as Aizawa said, well, let's see what he's gonna do. And after that, Izuku, with a, a, a god tier speed, a blitz like a bullet through the race, leaving a trail of fire behind of him. Anything in front of him has been obliterating. He has gone in, uh, through three, you know, a couple of robots and through the mindscape, you know, the uh, mine, the mines, you know, in the end, and has jumped through the hall. And after that, he, with the, like a one second, finally got into the end of the race, as everyone's just shocked seeing that kid has been got into the end of the race with not even in minutes, just seconds, as pressing mic said in the mic. Um, Izuku Midoriya wins, uh, as Bakugo and Shoto surprising. What? He wins? As Bakugo looking down, he see a trail of fire, as he said, when did he even do that? As Shoto said, I will have, well, I will have to get into the second place. As after that, Izuku just sitting on the ground, having fun, looking at the sky. As I Sh President Mike said, oh, Aizawa, what's wrong with your student? As he said, well, he is Izuku Midoriya, Quirk, Hell Flames. His body is basically made out of fire and he can, you know, absorb flames and use it as he like. As I said, President Mike said, well, looks like he's a very powerful, that's a very powerful quirk indeed. And after that, the first, you know, the race ended as Izuku in the first place. The second place is, uh, you know, Todoroki because he wants to defeat Izuku. And Bakugo in the third place. And after that, the second part starts as, you know, um, Midnight said, Well, student, the second part of the um, <clears throat> uh, sports festival will gonna start, which is, which is the recovery battle. The recovery battle. We have a team made out of four or less you will gonna have to wear a headband on your head and to make sure that no one touch your headband and to keep your points and the the person in the first pay in the first place will gonna get one million points as everyone looking at izuku with the death with the death glare as izuku smiled back as he said well then come at me at once as everyone getting even Hive top and after that Izuku tried to make a team as he said hmm well let's see who should I make a team with as Kendo coming to him as he she said hey Izuku do you have a problem making teams as Izuku said well yeah no one is actually want to join me as Kendo said well I want to join you as Izuku said are you sure as Kendo said yeah I'm sure and after that, Kirishima come from behind said, Hey, Izubro, I also want to join you. As Izuku said, Really, Kirishima? As Kirishima said, Of course, you are my bro in the end. As Izuku smiled and said, <laughs> Well, okay. But we need one last person. As he thinking about it for a little bit. And after that, he said, Well, I think I know the perfect per." The perfect person as Izuku after that he go into zero or you know I let me remember his name yes just like I said zero uh, the one with the tape quirk as he said hey zero can you join me as zero said all right Izuku all right Bedoria I will join you and after that the the team are like this, Kirishima in the front, Izuku and Siro on the side, and Kendo in the, you know, uh, uh, with the one that uh, wears the headband, because she will gonna be able to protect her head using her big fist, and, you know, Kirishima in front to kick, kill anyone that come in front, and Siro just uh, with his tape to make sure of Su, so, you know, if Kendo lost, her, you know, lost her balance, he make sure to get her back. And Izuku is just throwing flames and things like that. As after that, the recovery battle started. As everyone starts rushing at Izuku, as 
Ke Kendo said, what are we gonna do? As Izuku said, leave this to me. As his legs starting golf with fire and said, hell flames, magma ground. As the grounds turn into magma, burning anyone feet that get close to Izuku. As uh, people start to get away as, um, you know, President Mike said, whoa, Aizawa, your student has just made the ground turn into basically lava. As Aizawa said, hmm, I didn't know that he can do that, but looks like he can even use his flames in a very effective way. And after that, Bakugo coming from, you know, from above to kill Izuku as he said, Deku, come here! As he go flying at Izuku, not even the headband of, you know, Kendo, he just want Izuku as Izuku said, I don't think so. As Izuku throw his right, right, you know, left arm because he is on the, you know, on the left side of Kendo and Zero on the right side. He throw his left arm up in the sky, shooting, you know, a chain out of his arm directly into Bakugo as he wrapped it around Bakugo and Bakugo said, what the hell? And after that, Izuku was about to slam him into the ground and make disqualify him. But before that happened, the other one, what was he called? Yes, Dark Shadow, come in and save Bakugo. As he said, are you okay, Bakugo? As Bakugo said, yeah, I'm okay. Uh, that is a, that Deku. As, you know, the, the bird-faced kid said, maybe we should search for another target, Bakugo. As Bakugo said, eh, don't tell me what to do. But Bakugo understand that he will not gonna be able to defeat Izuku here. As after that, Izuku just, you know, using his flames, shooting at anyone that tried to come near them saying if you come any cl closer you will gonna turn into dust looking at them with the deadly eyes everyone just getting scared kendo just protecting her headband with his hand with her hand as Ciro just wrapping the you know the capture his tape around her to make sure that she doesn't fall and you know kirishima in front to protect anything coming from front and after that Ida tried to use his ter you know, turbo blast or whatever, whatever you know, his turbo mood to blast at Izuku, but Izuku just make the ground all lava, which will gonna burn, you know, Ida legs. So Todoroki didn't get ch the chance to defeat him there, and the recovery battle end. And after that, Izuku managed he and his team to keep you know, the one million headbands. As after that. The President Mike said, well, the last part of the sport festival will be the 1v1 fights as the first round will be Izuku against Shinro. Uh, I mean, yes, Shinro. As Izuku said, well, let's see what that kid all about. As Ujiro come to Izuku as he said, hey, Midoriya. As Izuku said, mm, yes, Ujiro. As Ujiro start telling him about Shinro Shinzo, Shinzo, yes, Shinzo quirk, as she, Izuku said, hmm, thank you for the help, I really appreciate it, as uh, Ujiro said, no, you're welcome, Izuku, and after that, Izuku got, you know, into the fighting, uh, into the arena, as Shinzo, Shinzo said, well, looks like I will gonna lose, huh, as Izuku doesn't answer. And Shinzo said, you're really lucky to have such a powerful quirk like this. All the people just always admiring you and tell you that you are the best, huh? As Izu, he just doesn't talk. And after that, Shinzo in his head said, why isn't he talking? <sighs> and after that, President Mike said, three, two, one, go! And after that, once Izuku hearing this, he throw his hand in front of him and throw a chain from, you know, from his hand as Shin Shinzo as he said goodbye. And after that, he starts spinning around and then throw him into the sky. And after that, he jump after him and do a backflip and hit him directly in his chest, throwing him back into the arena. And after that, he jump after him saying, hell flames, as he shoot the flames out of his hand. As he knocked, you know, Shinzo out, as, you know, President Mike said, um, Izuku Midoriya wins, as he, you know, stopped the mic, as he said, Hey, 
eraser head your students uh, your student is very brutal you know as um eraser has said well i know but he's a good hero to be honest with you as after that izuku got hold of shinso and said well in, an, in any other fight you might be gonna win but against me you are a lot you are a loser so train for god's sake as he just leaves shinso there and after that the second fight started which is izuku against todoroki and after that before that happened todoroki told izuku in the changing room to come with him because he wants to talk as izuku said sure and after that he you know todoroki take him in a private place to talk with him as he said Midoriya, I know your secret, as Izuku surprising, um, you know my secret, as, you know, inside his mind, Vengeance said, he know our secret, Izuku, as we, you know, Todoroki said, yeah, I know it, it was so, it was so, you know, uh, it was so obvious from the start, your flames, the way that you use in it, and all of your abilities as Izuku in his mind said should I kill him as Vengeance said well I don't kill the weak I don't kill the innocent Izuku you remember that as Izuku said well you don't do that but I do I can do it but should I really do it as Izuku said well what's that secret that you talk about as Doroki said I know that you are the secret love child of my father endeavor is that right as and izuku said what and inside his mind vengeance said is he serious <laughs> is this kid a serious midoriya <laughs> oh he's really for someone like him he's really stupid as izuku starts chuckling saying <laughs> <laughs> Are you wait wait? Can you tell me again what did you said to Doroki? I didn't hear you. I think that there is what was a fire inside my ears, so can you tell me again what did you said? As to Doroki said, Well you are the secret love child of my father endeavor, is that right? As Izuku start laughing again as he said, I'm sorry to Doroki, but this you are wrong. You are totally wrong. I'm not any anything to your father. As Todoroki said, are you sure because he always talk about you to me, telling me that you will gonna beat me. As Izuku said, he, he's what? As Todoroki said, what? Didn't you know? As Izuku said, no, not at all. I didn't even know that he talking about me. As Todoroki said, huh, just I expected from my father. T talking about people without even telling them what they what's he gonna do to them as izuku said wait what are you talking about as todoroki said nothing but i want to tell you that i was gonna defeat you using only my eyes so let's try use your your full power be before you lose as izuku said all right then let's have a good fight as after that both of them got into the arena as Endeavor watching from a far away place saying Well, this fight will gonna decide who should I train out of them If Todoroki will not gonna accept his flames, then I shall train that Midoriya guy He will gonna be even better person to train than Todoroki And after that Izuku in the middle of the arena with Todoroki as Buzzing Mike said three Two, one, go! And after that, he, you know, Todoroki start throwing ice at Izuku. Izuku just dodging it without even using his flames. As he just jumping left and right without even using his flames. As Todoroki said, use your flames already. As Izuku said, if I will gonna even make my body, body heat temperature go even higher than normal, I will gonna melt your ice so easy. So... How about you use your flames and fight me for real? As Todoroki said, I will not gonna use his power. As he just continued throwing ice, as Izuku said, ah, you are so boring. As Izuku engulfed his hand with fire and start, you know, 
punching the ice as after a couple of minutes Todoroki starts getting frost you know getting affected by his frostbite as Izuku said ah, you are so boring Todoroki I mean in the last fight between you and you know Zero I was exp you did a very great job but why don't you just attack me with something like that as Todoroki said fine and after that he used a, such a big mountain of ice the same mountain of ice that he used against Zero as Izuku seeing this he said dominance blast as he blast a, a hit a, you know a blast of fire at you know Todoroki and before even the ice touching his fire the ice melt immediately and Todoroki said what the and the fire hit Todoroki directly in his the body and then throw him out of the ring as after the dust clears they see Izuku in the middle of the arena as President Mike said Izuku Midoriya wins and Todoroki is out of the ring as uh, Endeavor watching this from far saying <laughs> well looks like I will gonna train you Midoriya and after that Izuku come back and sit in his you know changing room waiting for the next fight as the next fight will be Izuku against Kendo as Kendo said well you done very well but don't think just because you are my friend I will gonna give up as Izuku said I didn't expect something like that well let's fight as after that President Mike said three two one go and after that Izuku and you know Kendo starts rushing at each other Kendo doesn't use her big fist yet as Izuku throw a punch at her Kendo dodging this and throw a punch at Izuku's chest with your with her normal hand and in midday you know in midway before she got into to hit Izuku's chest she make her hand get bigger so she send a even stronger you know hit at Izuku which sending him flying into the sky and after that Izuku using his chains throw it downwards in front you know on the both side of Kendo as he engulf his leg with fire and go to throw a kick Kendo using his hand jump back a, a little bit as Izuku after get throwing the kick into the ground you know I, I you know a little you know how can I say it <laughs> mm, what's what they call it a little crater being created by his head as Kendo said well you are good even good than I expected as Izuku said <laughs> you didn't see anything yet as Izuku starts using chains in both of his arms which is if you don't know the ghost rider have the ability to not only use his, in, you, you know to use chains to get them out of his body so it's normal for him it's not like he's just using a chain that around his body we d we just didn't see him do that as Izuku is shooting another you know two chains from both of his hand as he engulfed them with with fire and starts you know spinning them around as he said well come at me as she you know Kendo using her hand make him even bigger as she go to throw a punch at Izuku Izuku using his chains wrap it around Kendo hand and using the other chains that wrapped around his fist throwing fist into Kendo you know stomach and then hit her with her with his leg into her face and after that he got hold of her with the chains and start spinning around and send her into the air and after that he said dominance blast as he blasted her even higher in the air and after that he throw more chains at her wrap it around her body and then smack her back into the ground and after that he wrapped the chain around her body and said do you give up as Kindo spelled blood as he said you are getting so serious you know as Izuku said sorry but this is a fight I will not gonna hold back and it's so away from me to you know to show you that I respect you using or you know my full power as inside his head vengeance laughing said <laughs> yes your full power as Izuku said shut up and after that Kindo said huh, well I give up as President Mike said Kendo give up Izuku Midoriya wins and after that in the last fight the, we will gonna cut off into the finals Izuku Midoriya against Katsuki Bakugo 
as Izuku stopped using his chains around uh, Kendo and said, Well, sorry for hitting you so hard. As Kendo said, Yeah, please, in the next time, go a little bit easier. As Izuku said, Sorry, let me get you into the recovery girl. And after he sent her into the girl recovery girl, the final match, Izuku against Baku, as Baku said, Finally, I got the chance to blow the shit out of your face. You think you are strong just because you finally got a quirk? You're still the stupid idiot Deku that was in the middle school. As Izuku said blah 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 and you're still the same angry Pomeranium and the explosion boy. As Baku getting angry and saying I will gonna show you right now who I am. As after that Prince and Mike said 3, 2, 1, go! And after that once the, this announcement got, you know, the Prince and Mike said this. Bakugo starts, you know, going at Izuku flying with explosion and try to throw uh, a right a right hook at him. But Izuku dodging this and got hold of his hand as he slammed him into the ground and then said, I will gonna enjoy this. I will really, really gonna enjoy it every second of it. As Izuku wrapped chains around Bakugo and starts slamming him left and right, left and right, left and right. And after that, he throw him out of the ring but before... Baku get out of the ring, Izuku got hold of his leg and then get him back inside the ring and start punching his face and after that he thro throw him into the sky and fly after him and from above him he said HELL FLAMES as he sent a very very big blast of fire at Bakugo send him back into the ground and Izuku after that he go down at Bakugo with all the force with his hand as he after getting into the ground he make a big crater and a big beam of light and fire being all engulf the whole sta stadium or the stage as uh, all might get, you know getting scared about Bakugo because this fire is very big it's like uh, big as the in the same size of the arena and it's even got into the sky and uh, has gone even far into the space as after that when the smoke clears they see Izuku with his uh, leg on Bakugo's face and Baku is all bloodied and burned as he's still breathing but he's well, gonna be in a very very bad situation as Izuku said do you give up as Bakugo said <laughs> As Izuku said, yeah, you seem that you gave up. As President Mark said, Izuku Midoriya wins. And after that, recovery girl immediately come to Izuku and Baku. As Baku, Izuku get out of the hole that he create and give, you know, hey, Baku go into the recovery girl. As the recovery girl said, couldn't you at least go a little bit easier on him? Sheesh. As Izuku said, hey. He tried, he hate me so much and I hate him so much, so why should I care for him? As recovery girl hit him with her, you know, with her big needle, uh, you know, hit him on his leg, not piercing through his skin. As she said, you are supposed to be here, so act heroic, don't act like a villain. As Izuku said, okay, granny. And after that, the, you know, the party where everyone gets their medals started as all might give the first place medal into izuku as he said well young midoriya you actually did what you just said you have won the sport festival but you need to get a little bit easier on your classmate you know as izuku said yeah i will try and after everyone get the medals izuku come back to his house on his bike as he said a yeah, vengeance inside his head said, Well, congratulations, Izuku, on winning the sport festival. As Izuku said, Yeah, thank you, vengeance. But you know what my real price is? As vengeance said, What is it? As Izuku said, My mom will gonna make me, made for me my favorite meal because of I win. Dude, I can just smell the, how delicious uh, the meal is just from here. As Izuku starts sniffing the air, as he said, but he smells something weird as he said that's smell as vengeance said go you to your home now as izuku starts sprinting into the in front of door as he starts knocking saying mom are you here mom are you there 
as Vengeance said, Break the goddamn door! As Izuku kicked the door off. As he said, Mom, where are... You? As he see in front of him. This is where I'm gonna leave it off, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and... Uh, tell me what do you think about this part and what's gonna happen in the next part. Well... Well, I have nothing more to say then. Severed was here.